We had, we had noticed that, that the storm was coming our way and that we were going to get a lot of rain. And, we had, and the week before, we had had nine inches of rain on the weekend, so we knew we were going to have problems. Once we received the call from the facility, um, at that time it was just trying to get everything in order so we had a place to set these animals back to the shelter. Um, I called shelter staff, I called the director, you know, let them know that we had a large of animals that we needed to go pick up. It was, we couldn't pull up to the facility itself because the waters were so deep at that time. Um, the employees were coming out, you know, with animals in their arms, you know, approaching our vehicles. We, there was just a constant flow of employees of the facility, animal control officers, um, just picking up these all these dogs. Um, I think we may even had a cat that had to be picked up from the facility. Um, we ended up all in all rescuing about 25 to 30 dogs at that time. By the time I got to the shelter then we were dealing with uh, um, water that was uh, eight, eight foot deep in, in our barn area. And when I got here, I was told that they didn't know if Bob the horse was alive or dead. You couldn't see him from where we were at and we couldn't get to him. The uh, Sheriff's Department had come through to check on their facility. Captain Chuck Parker and his team came through. One of our officers flagged them down, Victoria Herring, and said, could you go check on our horse because they had a boat. So they went back there and we all stood outside waiting to see if Bob was still alive and they came back and said that he was alive. Uh, three members of the team and Victoria Herring all suited up, they strung up together, got all their gear on and their life vest and went in there and got Bob out. Um, at one point he was up to his neck, I was told. At this point he was about up to his chest. And they got him out. Yeah, Bob's doing great. Yes. He's at a rescue with one of our former employees, I believe, still. Yes. There was a separate area for the people and then there was a, another separate area for the, for the animals. Um, so just checking their animals in and then, you know, we just made sure everything went okay with the animals. It was an awareness thing um, for other agencies to realize, hey, animal control does do this kind of job. Um, you know, they do more than just walk around with nets on their backs chasing loose dogs, you know, because that's, that's the profile that we have, unfortunately, but we actually do a whole lot more for the community. Our people are saving animals' lives every day, so that was paramount in our minds. What were we going to do? We knew we were going to have problems with our, all over the county with animals uh, in life-threatening situations, so my people were already on the road, and I had to hold some of them back from going into the water. I had to actually order them, don't go, you will die if you go in that water, so don't do it. So. It was a, a complete team effort. Um, everybody from, like I said, the shelter staff to the officers, everybody was on board. It just kind of felt like it was, you know, we were, I feel like, the last resort for these people. Um, they called us, you know, they, they care for these animals. They were entrusted to care for these animals, and they needed our help. I know at that point we were supposed to be grounded ourselves, not supposed to be so much out on the roads, um, but once we got the call, it was, you know, either a lot of these animals' lives that could have potentially been lost. Um, there was no hesitation from the officers. We just did what we needed to do. Um, we found a route there and did what we could. Um, it was pretty much, yeah, all for the animals.